Good morning. Glad you could join us for another prayer and coffee. Genesis 41, verse 14. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they brought him quickly out of the dungeon, and he shaved and changed his clothing and came to Pharaoh. Verse 42. Then Pharaoh took his signet ring off his hand and put it on Joseph's hand, and he clothed him in garments of fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck. Many of you know the account of Joseph. He had a dream from God, twice. And as he related it to his family, told them of the dream, instead of rejoicing with him, they mocked him, grew jealous, and his brothers threw him in a pit, sold him into slavery, and he ended up in Egypt at Potiphar's house, where he was falsely accused and then finally thrown into Pharaoh's dungeon. But in God's timing, 13 years later, Joseph went from prison to the palace in just one day. From prison clothes to fine linen in one day. We've been praying about a turnaround, restoration, and this season is going to see some things happen just as suddenly. Things you've been praying about for years, things God gave you, a, a promise, a, a scripture you've been standing on that you know God gave you for years personal promises from the Lord that you've been waiting to see fulfilled, relationships that you've given up on. We're about to see swift, sudden turnarounds, restoration. Lives will be changed in a moment. And those who have wandered far from God will come back to God swiftly. Those whose hearts have grown cold will suddenly be on fire for the Lord, for Jesus Christ. Acts 2, verses 2 and 3, And suddenly there came a sound from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire, and one sat upon each of them. We're in a season of suddenlies. God will do a quick work in this season. Father, I see your turnaround, your restoration with spiritual eyes. And I see you uh, bringing restoration to my family, my community, my city, Lord, to our nation. I see you re beginning restoration in your church and opening doors for salvation, for the harvest to be brought in, activating spiritual gifts and releasing miracles and healings in your church. We receive a fresh filling of Holy Spirit, Lord, as you link the generations together for a last day harvest. Father, I see sons and daughters working side by side with moms and dads, and grandparents. Thank you, Lord, for your grace and your strength that is releasing right now through your church. Let the spirit of Caleb and Joshua be released in this generation. Let the Esthers and Timothys arise. Jesus, our eyes are on you. We need a greater last day's anointing as we pray in your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.